Uh, so now I can do another working. Um, I'm calling on the Holy Death uh, in this instance because uh, I just feel she's called for with regards to this case. Um, so basically, uh, the client is a female and uh, the guy that she you know, wants in her life, uh, he's with someone else. I'm offering this. Uh, it is a melon. I'm offering it to the Holy Death. Uh, yeah, a lot of people, um, they may not see this, uh, you know, as the Holy Death thing, but to be honest, I give the Holy Death a lot of uh, many, many different offerings um, from uh, chocolate to alcohol to tequila, for instance, uh, dark chocolate, um, basically anything. And I feel that from the energy that I get from the Holy Death is that she enjoys everything. And I like to give fresh fruits, uh, especially an apple that's covered in um, sugar, especially brown sugar. Uh, I get, you know, a lot of impressions that she really enjoys that. Uh, so it's going to be melon because I like melons uh, and I like, you know, pomegranates because I can put stuff into them. Uh, so my next working will be another pomegranate working. I'm not sure if I'll be uploading this to the channel, but for now... Um, I'm going to do this working. So, okay. I hollowed it out. And I don't like to hollow it out too much. Just enough so I can fit things into it. So, I have the petition. <coughs> excuse me. I have the petition here. All in the present tense. And I'm going to put it between the two dolls. And the dolls have been blessed. So, I have a little guy doll. And a little female doll with the dress. So, the female always goes on top. Uh, if you your client is female. So I'm going to bind these dolls and I'm going to just basically send it myself what I want to happen. I'm going to tie it in three little knots. Oh, it's fiddly. Okay, so... Okay, that's fine. Now I'm going to put these into the actual melon, but uh, I want to fill it up with honey first. So I'm going to put a little bit of honey at the bottom of it for sweetness. So I already did... Uh, oh, damn lid. I already did the little prayer. Uh, the one that calls on the holy death um i've seen lots of my other videos or i may type it out in the description uh depends on what time i have um but you know the one i don't use the christian calling um i just use the the other one about the powers of the air inspiration earth kind of thing so that's the one i do okay so i'm going to put the dolls in like so a second there we go she is on top because she's the dominating party and i'm going to put some red syrup on top of them okay now um you can use brown sugar uh, i just have white sugar at the minute okay and i'm going to put a little bit of pheromone Uh, some road opener herbs that I've powdered down. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put a little rose quartz crystal in there. Okay. Oh, um, some Damiana. I'm nearly out of Damiana. Uh, For the love, uh, lost aspects, should I say? A little bit of catnip. Um, or a root. And uh, let me think what else. Um, I think I should put some ladies mantle in there. Perfect.
Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna put a little bit of lavender in. Don't have any lavender. Uh, sorry, I don't have any lavender, fresh lavender. Uh, so I'm gonna have to, yeah, I think I'm all out of it. I'm gonna have to use some lavender oil just to bring some calm into the situation. And I'm going to put my love me oil in. Stay with me oil. Oops. Uh, a tiny little bit of rose oil. Rose water get it right yet and let me see what else I think I need tiny little bit of rose this is rose oil this time you don't need it I just like to put it in because I like the smell of it and I like uh, I like the fact that it's um, goes in with the rose water and I think it's quite nice uh, let me see if I can put this candle down. Okay. I'm using these tiny little orange candles for opening the roadways. Opening the roads. Oh, so fiddly at times. <coughs> you could use white ones. Um, I just have these little orange ones at hand. Uh, I'm going to put some magnetic sand in here and I'm going to place a magnet also. Um, magnet is... I'll get the magnet in a moment. Uh, I'll put it in last actually. Um, what else do I need? Precipitation powder. Let's bring about a fast result. Uh, I did anoint his doll with control oil so I'm going to put a little bit more in there or more on his side okay we want control over this guy uh, a little bit of bam of, of Gilead two you actually want for her and one for him great for healing of the relationship also um, I'm going to put in a little bit of fiery wall of protection just to make sure that their relationship is um, in a good place. Uh, Dawn the Cocker. Again, this is for her. So that she may come out on top. Uh, I'm going to put in actually some cloves. Put three cloves in there and I'm going to top that off with some cinnamon. You could use the cinnamon sticks. Okay, and I'm going to put a tiny bit of rose perfume in there, not too much because I'll be putting a candle in here. And what else have I got? That's probably it, isn't it? No, I need some rose petals. Some rose petals on top. Because this is an offering. Um, okay, so there we go. I will be lighting this uh, every night until I start to see it spoiling, and then I'll deploy it at my tree. Um, so this is for her. This is an offering for her. And I'll place the tiny little pentagram tea light. It's a little pink one in there. And let me see, let me just get it in the right spot. It smells really lovely. I don't want to put too much in because uh, yeah, I don't want it to be too full. I don't want the, cause sometimes it runs out of the melon. I shouldn't really blow these things out. I like to snuff them out, but I'm not really using that candle. So there we go. That's what it looks like. I can't really see that, I'm sure. Oh, always happens. 
so irritating when that happens. It really annoys me. It takes ages for them to be stuck. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll play with it later. Uh, just wanted to show what that looks like. If you can see that, uh, I'll take that out. So it's it's pretty full. Uh, so basically, that's how it will look. And I always place the road opening candles, the tiny candles, uh, in a triangle, and I'll be like those each night. I'm going to place this uh, just to the side and I'm going to bring out the, the cards that I pulled. And I will put that on her altar in a moment and do a little bit more work on it. Uh, so I did look at a few um, the Norman cards first of all. Okay. The key card is the book. The book is a card of secrets um things that need to be said that haven't been said yet so i think that's what's happening at the moment uh i see the lily the lily when i see the lily i think of being with an older guy um almost like a fling kind of thing um but because it's beside the bouquet it maybe started off as a fling with an older guy but this relationship has truly progressed. Um, with regards to this key card, um, a secret, uh, I see uh, the, the house, um, that's a legal building, uh, like a police station, hospital, uh, even a court. Um, and then we have the ship and that's a card of travel. So uh, there may be something he hasn't told you with regards to uh, maybe him having to go overseas with regards to uh, a certain matter. It's a legal issue. I have a funny, funny feeling it's a legal issue. So I don't think he's told you that yet. Um, but I think in due course that will come out. And that's because that's the key card. So official building and the ship. Ship is something going away. I, it's not a breakup. Um, because if it was a breakup, I would see... Um, like the scythe card or the cross card this is um this is about going overseas with regards to a legal issue could it be his job or something uh but yeah i see i see what started out to be uh maybe quite innocent turned into something you know quite big uh hence these two cards the lily and the bouquet but there's just something at the minute that needs to come out so these are oracle cards and um they, there's a lot of insight in these little cards uh so the first one is the owl it's a card of wisdom uh it can mean deception so and then i have the water fairy it's all about feelings and emotions and i'm sure that's where you're at at the moment you, you're bound to be feeling a lot at the minute it's understandable uh so i also have the earth fairy physical health grounding and foundations so please um please look after yourself please try your best and uh, not to worry or stress i know these things they really are hard they're hard on the body they're hard on the mind uh so please 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 look after yourself um a partnership oh wow the mystery that really does tie in with the book I never actually check these cards when I'm pulling them, so it's always a shock to me, to me when I see that, the mystery. And then we've got the queen, woman, this is yourself obviously, fertility, feminine power, sexuality and friendships. When I see the queen, I always, you know, you have the power in you, you know, to make that change. Communication. And the lady of the lake, the absolute truth courage, self-respect and responsibility. So whatever it is, I do think it will come out. This is a card of absolute truth, you know, and the courage and self-respect. So, and responsibility. So, yeah. 
Yeah. So I just think there's something that is on his mind at the minute. Um, I'd be interested in knowing what you think. Uh, I haven't talked to you in a, in a while, um, so it'd be interesting to know what your views are on this. Um, yeah, I'm swayed to the fact that it might have something to do with business, these tri the trip abroad. Uh, I'm not thinking it's a permanent move. Uh, I'm thinking it's, yeah, business related. But I do think he, he needs to tell you, you know, there's something he needs to tell you. Something needs to get off his chest. Um, I honestly don't think it's that particularly bad. Um, I just think to progress further, you need to, um, he needs to do this. Uh, so let's have a quick look at these cards again. Maybe he's having some issues in his personal life um, that he hasn't mentioned. I keep thinking legal issues or work issues. So yeah, so it, I'd be interested if you could come back to me um, with your feedback. I always like feedback and I'm going to say for everyone else, it's the magic at gmail.com uh, or you can find me in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Um, so thanks for everyone. Thanks for all your sub, you know, sub subscribers. Thank you to all my subscribers, should I say. Um, thanks for liking. Uh, thanks for everything, basically. Uh, I, never, uh, I keep saying I never thought the channel would get this far, so I'm really, really humbled by everyone. And I just want to say another big thank you. Uh, so I have a lot more videos on the way. So I will see you in the next one.